Hello, I am Mario Grijalva, Director of the Tropical Disease Institute. Every year our project works in many communities throughout Ecuador. This takes complex logistical preparations in order to lay the groundwork that allow us to conduct efficiently and effectively research and disease control interventions. Battles are won and lost, not on the basis of ideals, but on the basis of a sound strategy and strong logistical support. The battle against Chagas disease is no different. Long before the summer work begins, the Tropical Disease Research staff visits the countryside with GPS equipment to systematically pinpoint the locations of every community in a given region, creating a detailed map of the dispersed and often hidden populations of Ecuador. Once a region has been fully mapped, one of the Tropical Disease Research staff, together with Ministry of Health experts known as SNEM men, will visit each small village in person. The National Organization for the Control of Malaria and Other Insect-Borne Diseases, known as SNEM, is an organization that is recognized in Ecuador for their work towards disease prevention. They help people by fumigating their houses, which reduces threats related to mosquitoes and other insects. Most people recognize the SNEM men and know that they're integral to the health of Ecuadorian communities. They have a solid reputation because the people in these communities have seen the efforts of SNEM in the past and they have trust in the work that they do. First, they meet with community leaders to obtain permission for the Ministry of Health to set up a free medical clinic and Chagas intervention program in the summer. Because there is no cost to the community, and because of the past reputation of the SNEM men and the growing reputation of the Tropical Disease Research Project, the request is nearly always welcome. <laughs> I like doing this type of work because it helps people. Most of the people who live around here don't know anything about this disease or that it's transmitted by this bug. A detailed survey of the community is then taken, counting the number of homes, surveying access routes to homes that may only be accessible on foot, and informally questioning villagers about their exposure to the chinchero bug. All of this information is collected into a central database, allowing the staff to coordinate a systematic attack plan for the summer. Four months before the actual field research begins, our organization starts taking care of all the logistical elements of the program. Planning for lodging, food, transportation activities, and hiring of new personnel. When observed from a distance, the effort appears seamless, but without the tireless effort of the tropical disease research staff, the battle against Chagas disease would not be won. This experience is difficult to convey through a video. To really understand the program, all I can do is encourage you to come and experience it for yourselves. Come to Ecuador with us and be part of an experience that is truly gratifying. In the next episode, you will see how the complex logistical preparations pay off and our teams conduct extensive research searching for triatomine bugs throughout rural villages in Ecuador and providing valuable education to the community. Join us.